Hello, this is Emily Noreen Sammy. Today we are taking a look at Paul Cezanne's Basket of Apples. Paul Cezanne created this in 1893. It was a post-impressionist painting and during that time artists began to use painting and their artworks to express themselves emotionally. These post-impressionism paintings were different. You would see paintings such as landscapes and modern life. Paul Cezanne was born on January 19, 1839 in the province south of France, what they called Aix-en-Provence. When he was very young, he traveled to Paris where he met other artists, but he was quite different from them. His style of painting focused on form. Other artists during that time focused on effects of light and reflected color. Paul Cezanne heavily influenced artists such as Pablo Picasso and George Braccas in the development of Cubism, another type of artwork. When you look back at the basket of apples, there are other objects on the table other than the apples. You see a wine bottle, a plate of cookies arranged very unordinary, you have the basket, and lastly, a piece of tablecloth. The Basket of Apples is a still-life painting, which was an arrangement of objects that usually included fruits, flowers, objects of different textures, such as bowls and glassware to contrast. Some of the objects were arranged in a certain way on purpose. For example, the cookies in the painting are layered. The fruit look as if they would roll off right off the table. You can look at the basket of apples in many different angles or perspectives which seem to be Paul Cezanne's intention in the painting. When I look at Paul Cezanne's basket of apples, what first comes to my mind are the many different textures included in the painting. The hard apples, the wine bottle, then you see the soft tablecloth and the cookies. And everything is arranged in a certain manner. And you wonder, you know, why did Paul Cezanne arrange all of the items as he did? The apples all over the table, some look as if they would fall off. The basket is a little tilted and the tablecloth is not spread very well. And then back to the cookies, they're stacked in different angles and on top of each other. And you wonder why, why did he do this? This painting was one of Paul Cezanne's popular still life painting, along with others such as the large bathers, apples and oranges. The basket of apples was first owned by M. Rose Boyard, bought and sold by many others until it was given to the Art Institute of Chicago in 1926.